I guess the biggest mistake people make is I think that most people kind of in the back of their head think that the acceleration is the same thing as the velocity. Oftentimes when people are asked a question about the acceleration, they really say what the velocity is doing. So the main thing we have to put forward in our mind is acceleration is a totally different thing from velocity. Um, this is just its own thing. Um, what would be our symbol for acceleration? A, a small right. a. That's right, a small a. Capital A would be for area. <clears throat> All right, and now we have to describe um, what the acceleration is telling us. Um, well, let's, let's talk about the unit. I think you mentioned earlier what the unit goes for acceleration. Right. That's, a kind of comp that's the most complicated unit we've seen. That's important to memorize. And remember I was saying a second ago that people tend to confuse the acceleration and the velocity. And I think you can see how easy it was to confuse their units. So we have to keep those separate. All right. Now, if the velocity describes the object's motion, what is there left for the acceleration to tell you? The acceleration describes how the motion is changing. We'll have to see some examples, but the acceleration describes how motion is changing. Another way to put it is the acceleration basically tells you how fast you're speeding up or slowing down. It describes whether and how fast the object is speeding up slowing down, or whether the speed is constant. All right, and this is the, the really crucial idea to be clear about. Um, so it's easiest to see this with the vector arrows. Which way is this object moving? To the right. Yeah. All right, now let's say that this is the acceleration for that same object. Now, notice that this acceleration is parallel to the velocity. Do you think that that would mean that the object is speeding up or slowing down, based on kind of intuition? If the acceleration is in the same direction of the, as the velocity, just take a guess, does that seem like it's speeding up or slowing down? Speeding up. Yeah, because it's moving to the right, and it's also accelerating to the right. So that would mean speeding up. All right. So this is an example of the difference between velocity and acceleration. The velocity tells you which way you're moving right now, but the acceleration tells you basically whether you're speeding up or slowing down. That's the basic difference between them. So when the acceleration is parallel to the velocity, that means you're speeding up. Let's ignore this vector for a second. Which way is this object moving? To the right. Because that's what the velocity tells you. <clears throat> now, this acceleration is what we could call anti-parallel to the velocity. This is what we would call anti-parallel to the velocity. That's a very useful term in physics. Well, based on intuition, does it seem like this object is speeding up or slowing down? Slowing down. That's right. OK. So those concepts are not that difficult. <clears throat> when an acceleration is parallel to the velocity, that means the object is speeding up. When it's anti-parallel to the velocity, it means it's speeding down. But here's where people get confused. Notice the acceleration tells you nothing about which way the object is moving. The object doesn't tell you which way the object is moving. And that's the mistake that people repeatedly make. Yeah, see, they were doing that in discussion and stuff, but I had no idea what that meant. So yeah. acceleration tells you nothing about the direction yeah. of movement. Okay. Yeah, because that's the velocity's job. It's the job of the velocity to tell you the direction of movement. What's the acceleration's job to tell you whether you're speeding up or slowing down? So for example, a lot of people would look at this and say, oh, this object is moving to the left, because this arrow is to the left. Right. But that's not right. They should be looking at the velocity if they want to know which way they're moving. People would be especially likely to make that mistake um, if I didn't draw the velocity arrow. <clears throat> but would 
you ever be given an example where you're only given the acceleration arrow? Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, you totally could be. That would be very fair. For example, suppose we have a new object and its acceleration arrow looks like this. And then suppose they ask you, which way is this object moving? Well, I'll answer that question for you. That's a trick question. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. All right, that's the exact right answer. But that, that's the type of trick question that, that the instructor would consider a very fair game. Um, it's a, if you're given this arrow here and you're asked which way is the object moving, you have to say, I have no idea because it's not the acceleration's job to tell you which way an object is moving. So is acceleration a scalar? Acceleration is a, it is, acceleration is a vector. You can see that because it has a direction. This acceleration is to the right and this acceleration is to the left. But it doesn't, the direction of the acceleration is not the direction of movement of the object. The direction of the acceleration does not tell you right. the direction of the movement direction of the object. It's actually, it's act, I, I wouldn't even say that, um, although I, I, I guess I see what you're saying. You could say it's the direction of the change in the speed, but that, that's a little confusing yeah. to me. Uh, it, it's not that easy to describe in words what the direction of the acceleration tells you, but I think here's, here's all we need to say to be able to use the acceleration. All we need to be able to say is, if the direction of the acceleration is parallel to the direction of the velocity, then the object is speeding up. If the direction of the acceleration is anti-parallel to the direction of the velocity, then the object is slowing down. There isn't really anything else that we need to say about the direction of the acceleration. There's no simple, so what that tells us is there's no simple way to determine the direction of the acceleration unless you compare it to the velocity. Right. If you try to describe the acceleration without the velocity, uh, unless you're very comfortable with physics, we're just likely to confuse ourselves. So, so just because like, today in class we did a lot of examples with vertical and um, right. stuff, so if I had, um, could, we, could we do this in a vertical sure. way? <clears throat> well, let us do the same exercise. That we just did. So let's say that these two vectors describe an object. And try to tell me everything you can figure out about that object. For example, previously we were saying things like, it's moving to the right and speeding up. Or it's moving to the right and slowing down. Well, what can we say about this object? So it's moving down and it's slowing down. Yeah, maybe it would be better say decreasing speed, so we don't use the word down twice. Okay. That might confuse us, but what you said is correct. The speed is decreasing. Okay, that's right. That's absolutely right. It's moving down with decreasing speed. Um, it's not moving up. It would be very tempting to look at this arrow and think it's moving up. It's not moving up. It's moving down, but it's just moving down with decreasing speed. So, in more conceptual stance, like, where would, what would be a case where a velocity is going down, but the acceleration is up? Is that like when you, if you throw a ball up or let a ball drop or something like that? Let's see. Well, um, <clears throat> yeah, we, we can think about that. So let, let, let's think about it. Let's say that you throw a ball up. Okay. Um, well, its path would look like this, right? <clears throat> something like this. Mm -hmm. um, although, let, let's just think to deal with one dimensional motion. So if you throw a ball up, Path would basically look like this. <clears throat> Technically, if you throw it straight vertically up, it should go down along the same path it went up, but then I couldn't draw both of those, so I'll draw them a little bit askew from each other. Okay. <clears throat> so, you throw ball up. So, so there's really two portions of the path this portion and this portion. Okay. <clears throat> Which way is the object moving in the first half? It's moving up. Good. Now, so what does that tell you about its velocity or acceleration directly? Its velocity. Yeah, and does it tell us the, what direction is the velocity in? Up. Okay, that should be pretty straightforward. When we're moving up, the velocity is up. Mm -hmm. um, now, just based on your common sense, don't even think about physics, is the speed going to be increasing or decreasing while the ball is in the air here? After, you, after it leaves your hand and it's moving up, is it going to be moving up with increasing or decreasing speed? Just based on our common sense. I mean, I'm conflicted because I feel like gravity speed would be faster than when you throw it up because it's fighting gravity. So okay. It's slower. That's right. Um, let's see. I don't. I don't know if I did. I quite followed your reasoning there. This is something that might be easier to think about just based on common sense. Just think about the last time you threw an object up. After it left your hand, did it start going going up faster and faster and faster, or was it going up slower and slower and slower? slower. Yeah. 
After all, if it was going faster and faster and faster, it would just rocket into outer space, okay. right? Yeah. Um, we know it eventually is going to reverse course and start moving down. That's because it's slowing down. Um, and it's true that it's gravity that's slowing it down. But even if we never heard of gravity before, we just know from our ordinary experience that when you throw something up, um, it starts slowing down more and more. All right. Otherwise, it would just keep accelerating into outer space. So um, what did we decide? Is this increasing or decreasing speed? So velocity is up, but acceleration is down. That's right. So this would be a good example of a case where acceleration and velocity are in different directions. There is nothing at all paradoxical about having the acceleration and velocity in different directions. It probably happens about 50% of the time. 50% of the time they're parallel and 50% anti-parallel. And again, just because this is a downward arrow doesn't mean the object is moving down. This just means that the object is slowing down because it's anti-parallel to this vector.